The aim of the Persuade project is to develop a poroelastic road surfacing, PERS, as an experimental concept, which would serve as a possible noise abatement measure, as an alternative to the frequently used noise barriers and other. It is expected that PERS could achieve substantially higher noise reduction than the best presently available paving materials. This new type of road surfacing is characterized by a substantial proportion of rubber granulate obtained from recycled car tires, bound with a synthetic resin such as polyurethane. 12 partners from seven European countries have cooperated in this project, including research institutes, universities and companies representing the different industrial sectors involved. The project program includes an extensive laboratory investigation in order to develop a durable mixture, the construction of eight test sections in five partner countries, extensive monitoring of the test sections, noise, rolling resistance, skid resistance, durability, winter behavior, etc., and a study of all significant environmental and economic aspects. The test sections with the top PERS road surfacing layer were constructed using three different techniques. The placing of the in situ made PERS mix, similarly to the application of asphalt. The gluing of prefabricated panels onto the sublayer and the gluing of small tiles onto cement concrete blocks, which are then laid in the conventional way. This is the story of this last method. The main part of the test section in the town of Novogorica in Slovenia consists of blocks laid onto a sand layer and a cement concrete layer. The original pavement and sublayer was removed and the unbound sublayer was compacted. A new porous cement concrete layer was then placed and properly compacted. The bedding layer, a sand layer, was placed and carefully leveled. The prefabricated Paris tiles were glued in the factory onto cement concrete blocks. The 30 mm thick Paris tiles were fabricated in the same shape as the cement concrete blocks. The gluing of the tiles onto the cement concrete blocks was performed manually indoors and a mixture of two epoxy-based components was used. The wavy-shaped Paris blocks were then laid down into the sand. The gaps between the cement blocks were filled with sand. The Paris layer was made of hard basalt aggregate, rubber granules, polyurethane and polyol mixture and had a very high void content. The result is a quite even and aesthetically pleasing road surface with a high bearing capacity. The results of the monitoring showed that the friction on the full-scale test sections measured by high-speed devices was sufficient. The noise reduction was impressive. The initial measurements show a significantly lower level of emitted noise for the poroelastic road surface compared to the asphalt concrete road surface. At speeds of 50 km an hour and 80 km an hour, the achieved noise reduction was between 7 decibels and 8.5 decibels and very similar for all passenger cars. The main aim of PERS is to become an alternative to noise barriers or where no other noise reduction options are feasible. Additionally, such pavements do not obstruct views and their efficiency is equally high in all directions from the noise source. Although less environmentally friendly than a conventional pavement, in such circumstances, pairs, too, will be a sustainable option.